In this video, I'll dive deep into the journey of single parenthood, particularly focusing on single mothers who have faced abuse and adversity. This is a topic close to the hearts of many as it speaks to the resilience and strength of individuals who navigate the complexities of parenthood alone. I will also share with you a sad incident of a mother serving life in prison for leaving her 16 months old child for 10 days to go on vacation. Some may find the content distressing, so viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, I'm Dalian Salmon. Today, as I embark on this powerful exploration of single parenthood, I'll be shedding light on the challenges, triumphs, and the path to empowerment for those who have faced abuse. Today's topic is incredibly close to my heart. Welcome to my channel, Abuse Insights, where I create contents on abuse topics to include but not limited to childhood or domestic abuse. But before I dive into the content, let's get straight into the incident of the mother and baby. An Oya mother was sentenced to life in prison with no chance of parole. She left her 16 months old daughter alone in a playpen for 10 days while she went on vacation. You heard right, alone. Following inquiries, she was determined to take to have taken a trip to Detroit and Puerto Rico while leaving her baby at home alone. While on holiday, she posted pictures online. One image shared three days after leaving her daughter pictures her on a beach in sunglasses and white short. The caption read, the time that is enjoyed is the true time lived. The toddler died of starvation and severe dehydration. OMG. She had pleaded guilty to ag aggravated murder and child endangerment as part of a plea deal. It didn't work out good for her. Anyway, the judge was having none of it. The judge condemned her for committing the ultimate betrayal. I love this judge. Now the only difference between life imprisonment and the death of the child is that the prison will at least feed you and give you liquid that you denied your child, the judge told this mother. The mother who was struggling with depression and related mental health issues expressed deep regrets. Hmm. There's so much pain I have in regards to the loss of my baby. What about the pain that the child went through? Uh-oh. You never thought about that, mom. Now, misconceptions about mental health. I want you to hear me right now. Mental health is a topic that affects us all. From the highs to the lows, it's an integral part of our lives that desires understanding and compassion. In our society, there's a dangerous misconception that mental health struggles equate to malicious intent or wicked behavior. When someone's actions shock us to the core, it's easy to jump to conclusions and assume that they might be experiencing a mental breakdown, meltdown. But the reality is far more complex. Mental health struggles do not automatically translate to harmful intentions. In fact, many individuals battling mental health issues are more likely to be the victims of their own minds rather than perpetrators of harm. That's all I'll say regarding this mother's action, but I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this one. Do share in the comment section and please remember to like the video. Now, at no time at all did the media mention a father in the picture of the child left to die. So, it's clear to assume that this young woman is a single mother. Hence, single mothers, listen to me carefully, please. For many single mothers, the journey into parenthood has been 
married by the shadows of abuse. Whether it's escaping a toxic relationship or finding the courage to stand up against abuse, the road to single parenthood can be crowded with pain and uncertainty. As survivors of abuse, we understand the weight of carrying trauma into motherhood. But let me assure you, dear viewers, that your past your past does not define your future and you are not alone in this journey. Many women, including self, will tell you, I never imagined myself as a single mother, especially after enduring years of abuse. But here I am, standing tall, determined to break the cycle of violence for the sake of our children. It hasn't been easy, but every day I find strength in knowing that I am rewriting my story. Not all single mothers choose this path willingly. Life has a way of throwing unexpected challenges our way, leaving us to navigate parenthood solo. Whether it's due to divorce, loss, or unforeseen circumstances, Single parenthood can be a daunting prospect for many. Yet, amidst the chaos and upheaval, there lies an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. As single parents, we learn to adapt, to persevere, and to find beauty in the midst of adversity. Meet Sarah. A single mother who found herself thrown into parenthood after the sudden passing of her partner. Despite her grief and uncertainty, Sarah refused to let despair consume her. Through sheer determination and unwavering love for her child, she emerged as a beacon of hope for others facing similar challenges. Behind every successful single parent lies a resilient mindset. A mindset fueled by determination, courage, and unwavering faith. It's not just about surviving. It's about thriving in the face of adversity. Believe me when I say that your mindset shapes your reality. It truly does. By adapting a positive outlook, and embracing the challenges as opportunities for growth, you empower yourself to overcome any obstacle that comes your way. Single parenthood requires a shift in perspective, a shift from viewing challenges as insurmountable obstacles to seeing them as opportunities for personal and familial growth. It's about cultivating resilience, fostering self-compassion, and embracing the journey with an open heart. Becoming a better parent than your abuser. You can become a better person, a better parent. For many single mothers who have experienced abuse, breaking the cycle of violence is not just a choice. It's a sacred duty. It's about rewriting the narrative, instilling love and compassion where there was once fear and pain. Today, I want to remind every single mother watching this, you have the power to break free from the shackles of your past. You have the power to create a safe and nurturing environment for your children. One where love reigns supreme and abuse has no place. We should no longer allow any woman's voice to be drowned out or disregarded as we affirm other women and as we teach our sons, husbands, and friends to hold them in the highest regard. We honor both the mothers whose shoulders we stood on and the daughters who will one day stand tall on ours. As this video soon ends, I want to leave you with a simple yet profound message, single mothers. You are not defined by your circumstances. 
You are defined by your resilience, your courage, and your capacity to love. So, stand tall, my dear single mothers, and know that you are not alone on this journey. Together we rise. Thank you for tuning in to Abuse Insights and for watching this video this far. Do remember to like and share the video with others. I hope you feel inspired, supported and encouraged as you continue on your journey as single mothers. Remember your experiences matter, your voice matter and you are worthy of love and support every step of the way. So until next time, do take care of yourselves and each other. And always remember, you are strong, you are capable, and you are not alone. This is Dalian Salmon from Abuse Insights signing out. Until next time, do take care. God bless you. Thank you for watching. If you have not yet subscribed, why not do so today? And if you have listened to this video this far, please click the like button.